In this segment, we present one of the most recognized underwater hunters and free divers in his native Cuba. His name is Jorge Mario Garcia. Prolific spearfisherman with a few records in free diving, he paid a short visit to his old friend Pippin in Miami, Florida. Since Jorge Murillo enjoys a celebrity and sport hero status on the island, he needed a special permit from the Cuban government to visit the United States. Especially since Jorge Murillo was planning on becoming an instructor for the IAFD. This permit was conceded thanks to the sponsorship of the International Association of Free Divers. Jorge Murillo and his old friend Pippin went out to remember old times enjoying a good day practicing their favorite sport, underwater hunting. With the help of an assistant, Jorge Murillo took control of the gun while Pippin would take control of the video camera housing to record this meeting. This was Jorge Murillo's first visit to Miami. Early in the morning, they left for a location of about 100 plus feet. These few descents would allow him to evaluate decisive elements that may affect the effectiveness of the hunt, like the current direction, bottom composition, and topography and visibility. It was comforting to notice how the skills being taught in these video collections are the same ones used by him. Appropriate ventilation on the surface, followed by a correct breaking of the hips and lifting one leg only. Five kick cycles to break the initial inertia and then allow gravity to do the rest. These are the techniques that allow him to hunt in a range between 100 and 120 feet of water. That day, an uninvited guest accompanying them. In this scene, you can observe a nice descent, watching from the side of the mask, a nice sized grouper swimming barely over the bottom. Notice how he gets close to the animal without scaring the creature. Once shot, the grouper looks for the safety of a cave. But the quick intervention of the assistant pulling the line and keeping the tension on it will void that action. Watch how the assistant pulls the line to bring the fish to the surface. Jorge Murillo makes a quick ascent to finalize the hunt and placing the animal in the buoy. The day was going well with a few catches already made. But 
something was not in schedule for that day. A hammerhead shark, the same one observed earlier, decided to claim its share. The assistant was taking the fish in the camera housing back to the boat when the shark pulled the line accidentally, activating the camera once again. Turning around to see what was pulling on the line, the assistant got the scare of his life. Pippin, noticing the action, took the camera away from the assistant to film the event. When Pippin turned around to ask the assistant to get closer to the shark to compare sizes, the assistant was long gone and back on board, not looking forward to be nearby the shark. This formidable creature took a big bite from the grouper, leaving just the head hanging off the hook. The shark continued to bite the remaining fish, not paying attention to the camera. Not satisfied with this, the hammerhead took the entire line, which was previously attached to the assistant's waist, with the buoy and the hook to the bottom of the ocean. The creature was not willing to share this easy meal with anyone else. Despite losing the catch, at the end, everybody was laughing, maybe with the exception of the assistant. At least this time, a video camera documented how the fisherman lost the big one.